listening to the Israel. No matter where you are. Come out of her, my people. It's a crime for the children of Israel to come out of her. Salam alaykum. Peace be unto them, my beloved brothers. Alex and Yen. Peace be unto them. Brother Alex and your family. Brother Yen and your family. Salam alaykum. Israel, come out of her. Let's take the door to our to salvation. The name, proclaim Yahshua, the only names. Oh, yes. The children of Israel, no matter where you are, I am Messenger Daniel. It is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. She shalom alehem to all of you. No matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, are you are Israel? Shalom Alehem. Peace be to thee. Say hallelujah to Yahweh. Praise be to Yahweh. The only name give above any man can see salvation. Are you are the chosen one of the children of Israel? Remember, my brothers and sisters, many are gone, but only few are chosen. The Holy One, King of Israel, not King of the Jewish, but the King of Israel. Come out of her. Come out of the Babylonian system. Come out from the Christianity system. Come out from the government system. Come out from the spiritual system. Come out from the pagan holidays. The children of Israel, no matter where you are tonight on the four corner of the earth. <laughs> it is a time now to start by listening. To Yahweh, your creator. If Yahweh is your creator, yes, it is a time now to stop by fighting between two opinions. If Yahweh is your creator, then serve Yahweh and obey his commandments. But if you feel like it's too hard to serve in Yahweh, if you take Bell is your creator. Go ahead and serve him. But remember, the judgment day of Yahweh is already in this earth. The people who are living in the United States of America. You're already on our by our judgment day. Come out of her. Come out from the holidays. Don't those pagan holidays. Our by our warning that you not Israel. You must not follow the way of the pagans people. 
birthday party. Martin Luther King birthday. Christmas day. Valentine's day. Yom Akipoem day. Wash Goddess day. Easter Sunday. Sunday worship. Come on. Come out of it. Let's walk and talk. If you are not walk the walk and talk the talk, you might be found your feet inside your mouth soon or later. Yes, Israel, let's walk the walk and talk the talk, Israel. The judgment day is near, Israel. You gonna talk? Are you gonna walk the walk? Come on. Let's, let's gonna leave just that we are sure. Don't take LeBron James or Obama as your role model. Take Yahshua, follow Yahshua, not Obama destructions, not Michelle Obama destruction, not Jay Z, not Beyonce, not LeBron James. But you walk just that we are sure. If you have to be immediate, let's walk just that Yeshua. Uh -huh. Yes, come. Oh, yes, Alel. Alel, look. Yeah. Wait. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on. Come on, let's say. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Bless be the name. Of Yahweh. Baruch Kababishem Yahweh. Bless those who are coming in the name of Yahweh. Come on, the children of Israel. By the way, you are tonight. Come on. This is Yahweh. Time. Come on. Let's praise Yahweh. You remember, life is just a moment of opportunity. Don't say if. It's going to be too late, my friend. Don't waste your time. Time is very precious. Life today means nothing. We gonna walk. Are you gonna walk with me? Come on, let's go. If you're gonna walk, not to walk. Don't even waste your time. Come on and walk. Like Yahshua. Not like Obama. Not like Jay-Z or Beyonce. But just like Yahushua Amashia. Follow the footsteps of Yahshua, the pattern of Yahshua. Imitate Yahshua, not Michael Jordan, not Michael Jackson. Everybody say, I want to be just like Michael Jordan. I want to be just like Michael Jackson. But nobody ever say, I want to be just like Yahshua Amashia. No wonder the world is upside down. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Oh yes, come on, the children of Israel. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Bless. We come in the name of Yahweh, the Almighty Creator, forever and ever. We got it. Are you want to walk the walk? Let's hold in hand together. If you want to praise Yahweh, let's praise Yahweh. But if you don't want to praise Yahweh, don't stop me. Get out of my way. Don't be stumble block in my life. Are you a original of Israel? Don't be ashamed of praise Yahweh. <laughs> oh yes, thank you, Abba Yahweh. For giving me the spirit of joy. And to praise. And all the opportunities you give it to us. Oh yes, come on, the children of Israel, no matter where you are, come on, get up. Let's praise our Bayahweh. Let's thanks our Bayahweh. We are on the middle of the week. Come on. Are you are the children of Israel? Are you are the chosen one? Or you are those who are calling? Remember, many are called, but only few are chosen. <laughs> many, many are called. Now is the time, Israel. Get up, no matter where you are. Your salvation is only in one name. Not Jehovah. Not Yahweh. Not Jehovah. 
not not Buddha, not Allah, not J U S U S, not J O D, not O O R D, not Adonai, not Adam, not Yahusha, not Yahusha, but Yahushua, Yahushua, Amashia. Now is the time, in Israel, to restore Israel and Yahshua, Israel, the only one place. Now is the time, in Israel. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Israel, don't let it be too late. Just like the time of Noah. Or your faithfulness. Now is the time for Israel. Salvation. Baruch Abba. Beshem Yahweh. Now is the time to proclaim Yahshua. Is your way now? Is it time? Now is it time? Now is it time? Now is it time? Is it time? Now, 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 to Mazar. The time is now, Israel, before it's too late. Remember, Messiah said, just like he was on the time of Noah, it's just like it's gonna be. Nothing changed. Remember, on the time of Noah. How many people who save? How many people who enter into the ark? The scripture says Noah and his family found favor in Yahweh. In the time of Moshe, over 400, over 40 years, how many people who entered the promised land? Only two, Joshua and Caleb. If Noah can proclaim the good news of the kingdom of Yahweh for over 120 years, only Noah found favor. Noah found favor and his family also participate in his blessing. About now, 14 billion people. 14 billion. Is it time in Israel? Israel, no matter where you are, your salvation is not in TMH. Your salvation is not in Yahweh and Yahshua only. Don't listen to your spiritual leaders, your elders who have misled you for almost 2,000 years of original deception. Now is the time. Every language. Praise the holy name, Yahshua, Yahshua Amashiach, oh yes, hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh, Yahshua, Yahweh salvation, the only name, yes. To all my East Wire brothers and sisters, no matter where you are tonight and on the four corner of the earth, I am Messenger Daniel. It is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. Shay Shalom Elham. Peace be to all of you. No matter what you go through in your life tonight, no matter what's happened to you in your life, no remember. Mr. So I say, in this world, in this world, you will face many trials and tribulations. Because remember, 2,000 years ago, Mr. So I stayed before Pilate say, my kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom is not of this world. My friends, my brothers, my fellow citizens, my fellows, Israelis, world families, Shalom Alham, peace be today. The listeners, the viewers, no matter where you are, remember, in the time of Noah, Noah has been proclaimed the good news to the wicked people for over 120 years. 120 years. It's not 120 hours, it's not 120 days. It's not 120 minutes, it's not 120 months, but we are talking 120 years. No one 
enter the ark until at the last minute when the flood start by getting them now they remember no i was not crazy but everybody perhaps today might think i'm crazy yes i am crazy because i'm talking a language is not your language if you are not chosen you are on a call you're not going to be understand my language because you speak a physical language i may speak spiritual language so that's different if 120 years nobody listened because they was laughing at noah say he's crazy look at a guy who built a ark without no rivers or water on the time of moshe in the wilderness abaya will rescue of the five millions five millions men not including women infants and children how many of five millions how many who enter into the kingdom of yahweh the promised land how many only two as the scripture say who found favor again in yahweh's side it was joshua and caleb only two remember in few occasions, Mr. Shai stated that just like he was on the time of Noah, he will be the same. Hmm. Just like he was on the time of Lot, he will be the same. On the time of Lot, the cities of Saddam and Gomorrah, remember, only Lot and his two daughters and his wife, labor his wife rebelled against Yahweh's commandments. She looked back and she became a pillar of salt. So only three people get saved in the time of Lot. Now I'm asking if Yahshua has to come in tonight, how many of you who are prepared? How many of you who are ready when Mr. Yahshua say, I go? To prepare a place for you because in my father's house there is many mansions i come to prepare a place for you i promise you i will come back if not so i will told you tonight how many of you who are prepared how many of you who are ready how many of you tonight if yeshua coming gonna enter into Yahweh kingdom. Remember, my brothers and sisters, do not fool yourself. Do not deceive of yourself. Remember, the word said, many are called, but only few are chosen. The way for eternal life is very narrow, very hard, and very difficult. Only few, only few, would find a way but the way will lead to destructions is very large very wide many many few would found the way of the nail gate but the way for destructions many 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 will follow it many are called but few arches. Two thousand years ago, Mr. Ashwasi were two and three gathered together in my name. Were two and three. You don't say two hundred. Why you don't say two hundred? Why you don't say two thousand? Why you don't say four thousand? Why you say only if two and three gathered together and his name and his name? All those people who get 4,000, 5,000 people, rejoicing that over 60,000 people every week, guess what? Yahshua is not there because they don't call in Yahushua's name. They say Yahshua say we're two and three. Two and three. Gather with together in my name, Yahushua. Joystin, Kifu Dala, TGJ, Kola White, John Egg, 
those elders, those spiritual leaders, how many of them who call upon Yahushua? So Yahushua cannot be there. The scripture must be interpreted by the scripture. My friend, let me send one more music. Let's praise Yahweh. And we're going to hear about tonight. What is the meaning of John 3, chapter verse 3? What the meaning of Yahshua Amashiach talking to Nicodemus, the most respected teacher of the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes? My friends, let's praise Yahweh. Are you there? Are you ready? Come on, let's do it. Are you original of Israel? Come on. The true children of Israel, not those who are called, but who are chosen by Yahweh to do His will. If my people who are calling by my name, my people, if you are Yahweh people, you have no obligation to call Him by His name. Are you all one of the children of Israel? Remember. It's not all the descendants of Israel who are Israel. Oh, come on. More than one motivation. Yahshua, Yahweh, salvation. Not many of Jewish, not many black Hebrew Israelites, not many Jehovah Witness, not many Muslim, but many Israel, the son of Israel, the children of Israel. Oh, come on. Every single person, even on the face of the earth. Are you a one of the children of Israel? Or you are a black Hebrew Israelite? Or you are a Jehovah Witness? Are you are a seven days Adventist, the bigger deception of this world? Are you are a Christianity? Or you are a Christian? Are you are a Mormon? You are a Muslim? Are you called upon Yeshua? Are you are the children of Israel? You show. If you are the children of Israel, he is the most to call Yahweh by his name. If my people who are calling by my name humble themselves, are you called Yahweh by his name? That means you are illegitimate children. You are a no in a bit of Yahweh kingdom. Your inhabited kingdom will be the lake of fire with your father's feet. Uh -huh. We are not black Hebrew Israelites, not Jehovah Witness, not Israel Christ United, not Mama. Not seven days Adventist, the bigger deception of this world. But Israel, the name Israel. Come on. Yahweh we call Abraham mm -hmm. from among the nations. Bless his promise. Uh -huh. We are. Are you are the true one? Do you are you are the true one? How can a man can be born again? What is the meaning of born again? How can a man can be born again when it's old? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
where you go. Can you go and see the same thing today? Your people are my people, not division, unity. Kingdom divide against kingdom cannot be strength. When there is black, white, purple, yellow, there's going to be always confusion and division. Yahweh is not the author of confusion, but of love and shalom and all the congregation of the children of Israel. Wait, come on, Yeshua, how much you are so what and forever we are. That's the reason why salvation is real came from only Yeshua Amasia, not GMH, not Yawasha, not Jawashi, not Jehovah, not Buddha, not Allah. Not J.U.S.U.F., not J.O.D., not Ashram, not Adonai, but only Yahushua. Come on. You are the children of Israel. Are you are the children of Israel? No. Those who think and they are the children of Israel, but who are not the children of Israel, because it's not all descendants of Israel who are Israel. Remember, Esau was not under the covenant. Ishmael was not under the covenant. Do you think you are under the covenant? Hello? Are you judging because of your color of your skin? No, 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 no. A Bayawe kingdom doesn't build according to the color of your skin. But a Bayawe kingdom will build according to your faith in Yeshua Amashia. Not faith in Buddha or in Allah or Jehovah, or Hashem, or Adonai, or Yawasha, Yawashi, Yawa, all those names are men, men, they have no power. Come on, I'm challenge every one of you, call upon TMH, Yawa, Yawashi, Buddha, Allah, come on. Let's see if your God you serve has any power of it. Now, I put all them on the bottom of my feet. I dance. I jump upon them because the name are nothing business name. A way for men to make money. There is no way. No power only to Yahshua Hamashiach. My beloved brothers and sisters, no matter where you are, may our by our bless all of you. It always be a blessing for us to gather tonight in the midst of the week and to praise Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. It's always been a privilege for our Bayawi blessing to be upon every one of you. And welcome all of you and love you. And Shalom Alehem to all of you. My fellow citizens, the Israelite brothers and sisters, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, the viewers, the listeners, my families, no matter where you are, Shalom. Alehem, peace being today. Abaya, we attend you tonight. We are coming before you, Abaya, and in spirit and truth, in order to ask you to deliver the message to your people who has been deceived for almost 2,000 years of religion deception. Abaya, we, you said, Jeremiah, before I put you in your mother rooms, I already knew you. I already appointed you to be a prophet to the nation. For some people, it might be an accident. But for Abaya, we, accident doesn't exist. Abaya, we cannot make accidents. And Abaya, we cannot make mistakes. Today, we are living in the world full with confusions, deceptions, lies, and you see today men lover of themselves instead of to lover 
of Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. Abel will create everything for his own pleasure, for his own will to be done, for his creations was created not to please men, but to please him. Abel will create all his creation for only one purpose, only to do his will. Tonight, all the angels in the paradise praising Yahweh, worship Yahweh and thanks to Yahweh 24 7. How many of you who have time for Yahweh? 2500 years ago, Abai Yahweh make a covenant with the house of Israel. It's not because they are numbered. It's because there was few in number. Abel was a people. A people to worship him, to praise him, to call him by his name. If my people who are calling by my name, not a attribute for Satan, TMH, Yawashi, Yawawa, Jehovah, Buddha, Allah, no matter how, they are the sun gods. They mean nothing. If anyone do not call upon Yahweh, the name Abraham, the name Isaac, the name Israel, the name Abraham, call upon Yahweh. The name Moshe, say, my name is Yahweh. My name is the children of Israel. My name should be a memorial to all generations. Remember, after over 40 years, Moses was proclaiming the good news, teaching the Torah to the children of Israel. Over 40 years, only two people who found favor in the eyes of Abba Yahweh, that was Yahushua and Caleb. Today, I get only 18 years. Compared to Noah, I want only 20 years. Compared to Jeremiah, who spent over 30 years. Compared to Moshe, who spent over 40 years. I have a revelation. I was crying. And I'm looking at I say, Oh, Abba, I spent all this time I'm preaching. And I don't see nobody here I know. Abba, I said, Daniel, it's not for you to know. Keep on going, proclaim the goodness. I don't want that to be happened. My beloveds, my brothers, may Abba Yahweh be with you. Abba Yahweh, whoever get the ears to hear. Peace. Open up their ears, Abba Yahweh. Those who are deaf, Abba Yahweh, I know you quit both. But those who are deaf, I'm asking you tonight to make them hear your word, Abba Yahweh. Those who are blind, I'm asking you to make them see your wonders and your miraculous things. Abba Yahweh, may your will be done on earth as it is right now in paradise. The values put under the children of Israel face for over 3,500 years ago. Tonight, I'm asking you a special favor as your servant to remove the veil upon all those who are willing to follow your footsteps, to follow your pattern, to be obedient to your word, Abba Yahweh. Every mercy, every compassion. I know you are very patient, creator. If you think take 120 years in the time of Noah before you acted, if you explain over 40 years on the time of Moshe before you make a reaction, Abba way. I know you are very patient. I know you are very loving, Father. I know your anger will never be born forever. Just remember the covenant you have made with Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, who they tell become Israel. 
You see, you are Yahweh, do not change. That is the reason why the children of Israel has not already consumed. Abba Yahweh is your people. You promise you are printed, are printed a time for everything. You are promised in your word, Abba Yahweh. The time will come when you make your people to hear your words. You will choose a messenger, a shepherd, according to your own mind, to teach them according to your understanding. Abba Yahweh, here we are today. It's your people, Israel. Those who've been victimized, those who've been misled for almost 2,000 years of religion deception. Abba Yahweh. 2,000 years ago, you see, Father. Father, forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. If you do not change, you are the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. I know the same way your name stands forever, the same way your words stand forever. Abba Yahweh, please open up your ear. Let your people hear you listen to them. Have a mercy, have a compassion. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, Allah, Abba Yahweh. Barukata Yahweh Eloheinu Melek Allah Uram Hashem. Kisano bemis vate. Vivis vano mo korva sufa. Bless are you, Yahweh, our Abba, King of the universe, who has sanctified the children of Israel by your commandments and called the children of Israel to hear the sound of the sufa. Now we turn to the east and we call to the tribe of Yahuda, to the tribe of Azaka, and to the tribe of Zebulun to repent from their wicked ways. Awake, Teshuva, return to Yahshua HaMashiach. Everybody say, I read the Torah, but they don't even know what the Torah means, what the meaning of the Torah. The Torah is the word of Yahshua. And the beginning was the word. The word was with Yahweh. The word was Yahweh. And the word became flesh and dwell among men. It is a time for the tribe of Yahuda, for the tribe of Azaka, for the tribe of Zebulun to repent from your wicked ways. Why you have to die, O house of Israel? Abba Yahweh say you don't take no pleasure on the death of the wicked. But Abba Yahweh wants you to repent from your wicked ways, no matter where you are. No matter what you're doing tonight, Abba Yahweh commend you and warning you and cry out to you because of his loving kindness. Come out of her, my people. If you are Yahweh chosen people, you are the descendant of Abraham, Yitzhak, and Israel, it is a must to come out from the pagan deception and come for it. <laughs> And we turn to the north. We call of Dan to the tribe of Asher, to the tribe of Naphtali, the tribe of Dan. Abaya, we say it is a must 
for you to repent from your wicked ways. Birthday party, Halloween, Thanksgiving days, Easter Sunday, Martin Luther King birthday, Black Historical Month, President Day, July the 4th, Christmas Day, New Year's Day, was Goddess, was Ashana, Yom Kippur, Abaya Waisi, 12 of Dawn, the time is now. The 12 of Ash, awakened. If you are sleeping, Abaya we asking you to wake up. And the 12 of Naphtali, Abaya we said to return to him, and he will return to you. My beloved, the clock is ticking. The judgment day of Yahweh is already here in this United States of America and everywhere in the world. The only way to save you from these destructions in our two generations is to repent from your wicked ways. Otherwise, you all will be perished. Now we turn to the West and we call to the tribe of Levites, to the tribe of Benjamin, and to the tribe of Yusuf, the tribe of Levi, who are on the West side. I bear we told you to repent from your wicked ways. I bear said, no matter what you do in the tribe of Levites, remember the covenant I bear we has made with you. Is the covenant of life. Abayawe choose you as a procurious people. Abayawe choose you, the Levites, to minister to him. Listen, be obedient to Abayawe. Return to Abayawe. If your turn are permitted, no matter where you end up tonight, the job of Levi. The trap of Joseph, I bear we tell you to awake. I bear we tell you if you are sleeping, the trap of Joseph is the time now. The clock is clicking. I try to stop it, it can't. The judgment day is already upon the earth. And upon all those who are living in the United States of America, the great city of Tari. The great city of Saddam and Gomorrah. It is falling. Yes. Babylon the Great is falling. Don't fall in with Babylon the Great, my friend. Come out of her. Come out of the pagans' holidays. Come out from amongst the hidden people. Abel said, do not follow the way of the hidden people. Neither do not practice the custom and the traditions if you do not want to be particular and awesome and to share and help us. As a driver of your life, the choice is yours. Remember, the clock is ticking and the judgment day is already here. <laughs> To the south, and we call to the trap of Rubens, to the trap of Shimon, and to the trap of God. Abaya will command you, the trap of Rubens, it's time to repent from your wicked ways. 
It's time to repent from your abomination. It's a time to stop by fighting between two opinions. The drug of Shimon are barely sick awake. You are sleeping on the dirt. Shake up the dirt of your feet and change your garment. The child of God, I pray I will ask you to return to him. Return to me and I will return to you. What does return to me mean? No matter where you are tonight, the child of Rubens, the child of Shimon, the child of God, the child of Levi, the child of Joseph, the child of Benjamin, the child of Dan, the child of Asher, the child of Naphtali, the child of Yahuda, the child of Isaac, and the child of Zebulun. The time is now. It's stuck by wasting your time. Because life, it's just a moment of opportunity. Don't let it. If perhaps tonight you listen to the voice of Abba Yahweh, do not fight against Yahweh. Open up your mind. Those who believe in your heart, open up your heart and receive the word of Abba Yahweh. Perhaps Abba Yahweh can grant it you repentance in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. You might be safe. My friends, we've got the eyes to hear. Let them see, we've got the eyes to see, Abba Yahweh. Let them see, we've got the ears to hear. Let them hear. Abba Yahweh, open up my lips. With my mouth, may declare your praise in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. We come in tonight in your presence, Abba Yahweh. It is our duty to praise you and to call you by your name. Blessed are you, Yahweh, King of the universe, who has selected good prophets and was pleased with their words, which were spoken truthfully. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who chose the Torah, your servant Moshe, your people Israel, and prophet of true of righteousness. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Abba, King of the universe, rock of all eternities, faithful in all generation, the trustworthy Abba, who says and does, who speaks and makes it come to pass, and all of words, words are true and righteous. Faithful are you, Yahweh, our Abba, and faithful are your words, for not one words of yours is turned back on fulfilling. For you are a faithful and compassionate Abba and King. Blessed are you, Yahweh. Yahweh, who is faithful and is what? My beloved Israelites, brothers and sisters, may Abba Yahweh bless you. Every passenger on the boat, please put your signet. Then is on board is Yeshua Amasiak. They fly. No destination. But if Yeshua is the captain of the airplane, you don't have to worry. Only one thing you have to do: buckle up your belt, your seat belt. Close your eyes and enjoy your ride. The captain is Yahushua, the savior, your GPS, your rhythm, your salvation, your eternal life, the only way. The flight number is 777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777
بشیم یاشو نشیم شلون What could John tweet tweet possibly mean? Or it is possible for anyone to enter his mother womb for a second time after his one is already conceived into this world. Could it be physically or a spiritually birth? Or dance for anyone to be himself born again. What born again mean? What does it truly mean? If one has to even consider himself born again, will you have anything to pass to? As you please to do everything you do as you please? Or does that mean everything you earned to start for? And the way you conducted yourself must change. Yahweh, Yahushua ministry invites you to discover what is mean to be born again as the scripture intended and what one must be born and what one has to do in order to even consider themselves born again. Yahushua and Yahweh ministry invite you to discover that it means to be born again. As the scripture intended and what one must be done in order to even consider themselves born again. My beloved brothers and sisters, the children of Israel has been deceived, misled for almost 2,000 years of religion deception. For many pastors and rabbis and ministers and spiritual leaders, knowing the truth, but I refuse to teach them us. As we come to more to our understanding, what is the meaning of born again? Whatever the Christianity teach you about born again, does that really born again? Or nobody understand what is the meaning of born again? Billions of people cross over the world, taken born again, and you are done with everything. Everybody talk, oh, I've born again Christians. I don't see no born again Christian on the scripture, do you? You see one verse say, I'm born again Christian? No. Nicodemus was not a Christian. Neither Yeshua Amashiach was not a Christian. How come you can be born again Christians when Messiah Yeshua was not a Christian? People talking things, they twist the scripture for their own gain, for their own advantage. Remember, you must prove all things. According to the book of 1 Thessalonians 5, chapter verse 21, prove all things and all fast what is good remember if all the scripture is inspired by yahweh to do what for instructions not for destruction but for instruction for convictions to make one realize when they are wrong to make you live in the right way to instruct you to rebuke you to reprove you if anyone do not speak according to the scripture, it's because the light is not in them. My beloved, may Abba Yahweh open up your mind and say his word. You might be understand about what the meaning 
of born again. Let Yahweh teach you according to his own words. May peace. Almost 2,000 years ago, when Messiah Yahshua in the night time, according to the book of John, the book of Yahanan, 3 chapter verse 1, now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Israelite ruling council. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a leader of the house of Israel, a leader of the house of Israel. Verse 2, Nicodemus to Messiah Yahshua at night, at night as a Pharisee, as a teacher of the law, and say, Rabbi, we know that you are of a teacher. You ask come from Yahweh, for no one could perform the sign you are doing if you are not with Yahweh. This came come to Messiah Shua, this man, Nicodemus, a teacher of the law, a Pharisee, in the night time, squeeze, put all the pride and integrity in order to go asking one question. One question only. Because you want to know as a teacher, as a Pharisee, as a teacher of the law, that you see something is missing. As a Pharisee, as a teacher of the law, he went on the night time to ask him, Messiah Yeshua, what can I do in order to enter the kingdom of Yahweh? Messiah Yeshua answered Nicodemus in John 3, chapter verse 3. I told you the truth, Nicodemus. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Hello? A teacher of the law, a very respectful leader who keep the commandments, who keep the law. But you see, is missing something. He take it off all his clothes. Is hiding in order to go to ask Messiah Yeshua. You are a teacher. You come from Yahweh. For no one can do those signs that you do unless Yahweh is with him. So Nicodemus go on asking Messiah Yeshua, give him all the compliments. All the felicitation. I say, I don't need those kind of things, Nicodemus. But let me tell you something. I answer Nicodemus. Surely, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, unless, unless one is born again, he cannot even see the kingdom of Yahweh. My beloved, when Messiah Yeshua exclaimed Nicodemus, I'm said to you, Nicodemus, unless one is born again, you can even see the kingdom. There is see, there is inherited, there is enter. So all of them is different. Moses see the promised land, but he do not enter into the promised land. So John 3, verse 3, Messiah Shua say, you can even see the kingdom of Yahweh unless you born again. Today, everybody taken born again in a different ways. It's not the way Messiah Shua interpreted it. They're taken a different ways. Everybody say, I've been born for 40 years. I've been saved. I'm a born again Christian. I've been saved for over 40 years, for 50 years. 
but how do they know they save? I don't see no one in the scripture say you save until you endure until the end. My friends, when Messiah saw and said in Kodemus, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. If you do not born again, you think it's because of your skin color, because of changing of your name, and you're going to make it to the kingdom of Yahweh? My friends, you are wasting of all your times. Tonight, Messiah Shua said there is nothing hiding under the sun. Not even what is hiding under the bush with not going to make none to all of you. Whatever they try to hide in, going to proclaim to the top of the roof. Everybody going to hear the truth and the truth they set them free. Nicodemus answered Messiah Shua, the book of John 3, chapter verse 4. I can't someone be born. When they are old, Nicodemus asking, Surely, they cannot enter a second time into the mother's womb to be born. What do you mean? exclaimed Nicodemus. I can't a old man can go back into his mother's womb and to be born again. Nicodemus do not understand. As a teacher of the law, as a Pharisee, Hello? You don't understand. Just that Nicodemus as a teacher of the children of Israel, as a Pharisee, do not understand. No one understands the meaning of born again today. But tonight, I bet we're going to reveal to you the secret of born again. Verse 5, Messiah Shua answered, Very truly I told you, no one can enter. The first one is the sea. But no one can enter into the kingdom of Yahweh unless they are born of water and Yahweh's spirit. Messiah Shua answered truly, I say unto you, Nicodemus, unless it's born of water and Yahweh's spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of Yahweh. Two different things. See and enter. Born again, it is a must to be born again in order to even see the kingdom of Yahweh. If you are not a born again according to the will of Yahweh, my friends, you can change of your name. You can call any name you want to do. Guess what? You will never enter the kingdom of Yahweh. And you cannot even see the kingdom of Yahweh. If you cannot even see it, how can you can enter to it? Which way are you going to pass in order to go through when you do not even see? Verse 6. Flesh give birth to flesh. But Yahweh's spirit give birth to Yahweh's spirit. Human can reproduce only human life. But Yahweh, the Spirit, give birth to spiritual life. You should not be a spiritual, not be surprised in my saying, you must be born again. Messiah Shua said to Nicodemus, you should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. As a religious leader, as a man who obey the commandment of Yahweh, as a man who see that all the commandments and the law I'm obey, but there is something I'm missing. I get to go to find out in this guy. What do I need to do? Just that Yaakov was wrestled with Yahweh in order for Yahweh to bless him. I won't let you go unless you bless me or accept you bless me. Verse 8, the wind blows wherever you want, just as you can hear the wind. But you cannot tell where it's coming from or where it is going. Hallelujah. 
So, you cannot explain how people are born of Yahweh's spirit. You cannot explain. Do and blows wherever he wants. Do and blow where he wishes. And you hear its sound, but you do not know where it is coming from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of Yahweh's spirit. Hello. Are this thing possible? Nicodemus asking. Are this thing possible? In the book of John 3, chapter verse 9. Are all those things are possible? Nicodemus says, this is impossible. I cannot understand that. Nicodemus said to me, Say, Asua, are all those things able to rest in? Messiah reply, Are you are a respected Israelite teacher and yet you don't understand those things? Hello? Messiah Sua replied to Nicodemus with respect and honor and love. Uh, you are a very respected leader, Israelite. And yet you don't understand those things. Uh, you are a teacher just start today. There is a lot of rabbis, a lot of spiritual leaders, a lot of elders, a lot of so-called pastors and ministers. They think they know about the word of Yahweh when they don't understand the word of Yahweh. Second Corinthians 5, chapter 17 said that, Therefore, if anyone is a Messiah Yahshua, he is a new creature. The old I pass away, behold, the new has come. Anyone who is in Yahshua, not in Jesus, Jesus doesn't exist. Because there is no letter J 2,000 years ago. My beloved, listen carefully. Any one of you who have any question, please, after the service, the line will be open for questions and answers. Therefore, if anyone is a Messiah Yahshua, he is a new creation. He is a new creation. He is a new creation. The all you are to be passed away, behold, the new has come. The all you has to pass away. Everything has to pass away. And the new you has to come. My friends, First Peter, first chapter, verse 22. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but imperishable through the living and enduring word of Yahweh. You are born again, not of perishable seed, but imperishable through the living and enduring word of Yahweh. My beloved, what is the word of born again will it mean? Let's take the book of First John 2, chapter verse 29. If you know that Messiah Shua is righteous, you also know that everyone who practices righteousness is born of Yahweh. Listen. First John 2, chapter verse 29. If you know that Messiah Shua is righteous, you also know that Everyone who practices righteousness is born of Yahweh. What is the meaning of righteousness? Those who do the right thing. Righteous is when you do the right thing. Righteousness is when you do the right thing, you become a righteousness. If you do the right things, you are born of Yahweh. What born again mean? Until today, those pastors, those Christianity have been twisted the word of our by Yahweh for their own filthy gangs because they don't understand the word of Yahweh. Let's take a book of First John, three chapter verse nine. Are we ready? 
anyone born of Yahweh refuse to practice sin. Hello? Listen carefully. First John 3, chapter, verse 9. Anyone born of Yahweh, anyone born of Yahweh refuse to practice sin. Because Yahweh seed a by in him. He cannot go on sinning because he has been born of Yahweh. Hello? What born again mean? Most people say, oh, I born again. Without knowing what is the meaning, what is of the signification of born again. The scripture say, anyone born of Yahweh refuse to practice sin. Because Yahweh seed abide in him, he cannot go on sinning because he has been what? Been born of Yahweh. Not been baptized of Yahweh, but born of Yahweh. There is a big difference between born again and baptizing. But people confuse between born again and baptizing. And you're going to know pretty soon, just take a little patience and you're going to know what born again mean the book of first john 5 chapter verse 1 everyone who believes that messiah Shua is the messiah is born of yahweh you don't say baptized born of yahweh and everyone who loved the father had also loved the one who born of him hello talking about born again not baptizing but most Christian people confuse. Because remember, 1 Corinthians 14, chapter verse 33, it said that Yahweh is not the author of confusion. If Yahweh is not the author of confusion, who is the author of confusion? Satan. Born again is far away what people take hence is big. Verse 2. And first John 5 chapter. This are we know that we love the children of Yahweh by loving Yahweh and carry out Yahweh commandments. How many elders who carry Yahweh commandments? How many pastors? How many ministers? How many rabbis? How many spiritual leaders who carry the commandment of Yahweh? How many? I don't see nobody. But this is not that we love the children of Yahweh, then we love Yahweh and obey his commandment by born again. What born again mean? If we love and obey Yahweh, we know we love his children. How can we know we love Yahweh? How can we obey Yahweh? How can we know we love Yahweh's children? To be born again, not to be baptized, it's different. Born again. Verse 3. Loving Yahweh means obey Yahweh commandments. And Yahweh commandments are not burdensome. But those pastors say the commitment has been done away. Those ministers say. The law has been nailed on the cross, but they can prove it. Verse 4. For everyone born of Yahweh overcome the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith in Yeshua Amashiach. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. My beloved. Listen carefully. The book of 1 John 5, chapter verse 4. 5, chapter verse 4. It stated, For everyone born of Yahweh overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. And who? Yeshua Amashiach. For every child of Yahweh, Every child of Yahweh defeat this evil world. 
who believe that Messiah Yahshua is the son of Yahweh. Every child of Yahweh is defeat this evil world. And we achieve this victory through our faith in Yahshua Amashiach. My beloved, it's too good to be true. Messiah Yahshua replied, truly, truly, I told you, no one can see the kingdom of Yahweh unless he is born again. Can anybody project for me? Quote the book of John 3, chapter verse 3, please. The book of John, 3, chapter verse 3. Quote the verse for me, please, on the screen as a witness. Put it for me, please. The book of John, 3, chapter verse 3. Put it from on the screen, please. Put it from on the scripture as a witness tonight to do every single person who are living on the face of the earth. John 3, chapter verse 3. Someone, please, one of my beloved, quote for me on the screen the book of John 3, chapter verse 3. The book of Yahanan, Yahweh, little gift. Please quote for me the book of John. Twist chapter verse 3. The book of John. Twist chapter verse 3. I'm waiting. It's to be a witness. To be a witness. Because people thinking born again is baptized. Everybody see I've been born again for 20 years. I've been saved for 20 years. I've been born again Christian. They don't even know what born again mean. Because Christianity, Christian people twist the word of Yahweh. Nobody please, I want any one of you, please to quote for me, the book of John, three chapter verse two on the screen please, as a witness. The book of John, three chapter verse three. The book of John, 3, chapter verse 3. A good Samaritans. Yahshua answered and said unto him, Nicodemus, Very, very unseen to you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yahushua replied, very truly i told you no one can see the kingdom of yahweh unless they are born again thank you so much my beloved brothers Brother brother nick mark and brother christopher legan thank you so very much may abba yahweh bless you so if messiah swa say no one can see the kingdom of yahweh unless they are born again what is the meaning of a born again? What Messiah Shua tell a teacher of the law, a Pharisee, a very respected leader, you must be born again in order to even see, to even see, not enter, to even see the kingdom of Yahweh, you must be born again. Born again means repent from your wicked ways. So no one can see the kingdom of Yahweh without repentance. Born again means repentance. Repent from your wicked ways. That's why born again means. So no one can see Yahweh. No one can even see the kingdom of Yahweh without repentance. You must be born again in order to even see the kingdom of Yahweh. So if you are living in sin, you are living in filthiness, you do not repent from your wicked ways, you cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. You can change your name. You can try to impress people. You can accept all those things. You can do all the commandments. But if there is no repentance, there is nothing to you. Why Messiah Shua tell Nicodemus he must be born again? So repentance is the key for salvation. 
Repentance is a key to open up the door in order to be baptized. Without repentance, you cannot be baptized. Today, people say, I born again, Christians, without knowing the meaning of born again. Without repentance, you can even see the kingdom of Yahweh. Now, let's see the differences. Let's quote now the book of John, 3 chapter verse 5. The book of John, 3 chapter verse 5. Three chapter verse three say Messiah so I say you must be born again. No one can see the kingdom of Yahweh unless they are born again. No one. So it don't say you have to be black, yellow, or purple. It say no one print blank. No one can see the kingdom of Yahweh unless unless they are born again. No one, no exception. You might be black, you might be yellow, you might be purple, you might be silver, you might be red, you might be green. Whatever color you are, my friend, it is a must to repent from your wicked ways. Without repentance, you wasting of your time. Can somebody please quote for me the book of John 3, chapter verse 5? The book of John which chapter verse 5 to see the differences between repentance and baptism they are not the same without repentance you cannot be baptized somebody baptizing without repent that's why they become worse and what they was in the beginning because they do not know they have to repent from your wicked ways then you'll be baptized in the name of Yahweh now please somebody please quote for me the book of john three chapter verse five to see the difference the book of john three chapter verse five let's keep on moving let's keep on moving the book of john three chapter verse five please i'm wait i'm waiting the book of John, 3 chapter verse 5. The book of John, 3 chapter verse 5. Yahweh has appointed a time for everything. A time and a season for everything under the sun. To that Rabbi Yahweh, thank you. Messiah so I declare, very truly I told you, no one can enter. Now he say enter. The first one was see. Now he say enter. Messiah so I declare very truly I telling you. I'm telling you. No one can enter the kingdom of Yahweh unless they are born of water and Yahweh's spirit. Do you see the difference? How many pastors? Who know the difference how many pastors who teach the children because many are called but only few are chosen they say as well say nicodemus the first one in order for you to even see the kingdom of yahweh you must be born again that's repentance you must be repent from your wicked ways and second verse messiah so i say in order to Enter into the kingdom of Abraham. That is a time now you want to be baptized. Are you there? You there? That is a time now you need to baptize when you want to enter. But to you to see the kingdom of Abraham, you must be repent from your wicked ways. Second Chronicles 7, chapter verse 14. If my people who are calling by my name and bore themselves pray. Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. What turn from their wicked ways mean? Repent from your wicked ways. Then, without repentance, our buyer we are not going to listen to you. Without repentance, if you baptize, you are wasting of your time. It's not about I born again. 
born again means repentance. And you are repent from your wicked ways. When you say you born again next time. Born again means repentance. Are you repent from your wicked ways? Are you repent from your filthiness? Are you repent from the way you are living of your life? Are you repent from what you eating? If you are not born again, you can't even see the kingdom of Yahweh because you see blind. In order for Abba to open up your eyes, you must be repent from your wicked ways. Then you will be baptized. Born again doesn't mean you are saved. Born again means you must do repent from your wicked ways. The book of John is chapter verse 22. Messiah so I say to the Pharisees, to the teachers of the Lord, if Yahweh were your father, you will love me, for I have come from Yahweh, I have not come from in my own. But Yahweh sent me. Yahweh sent me. I'm not coming in Daniel's name. I don't proclaim my own self. I'm proclaiming Yahweh to you. Whatever I heard Yahweh say, I see making known to you. My friends, the book of First John 2, chapter verse 29 stated that if you know that Messiah Shua is righteous, if you know that Messiah Shua is righteous, you also know that everyone who practices righteousness as born of Yahweh. So if you do the wrong thing, I can you can be born again. If you are living in filthiness and polygamy and adultery and polygamy, I can you can see the kingdom of Yahweh. How? Explain to me. Pastors, ministers, elders, spiritual leaders, no matter how you take yourself, answer tonight with the truth of the word of Yahweh. If you know that Messiah is righteous, you do the right thing. You also know that everyone, not someone, not black Hebrew Israelites, but everyone who practices righteousness is born of Yahweh. That means you must be repented from your wicked ways. Anyone who do the right thing, that means they have to be born. Repentance is born again. Repentance doesn't mean you are saved. Born again doesn't mean you are saved. Born again is a way to see because you are blind and sin. You are blinded by this evil destruction world. In order to see, you must be repented from your wicked ways. And whoever born of Yahweh must overcome sin. Whoever repent, they are born of Yahweh. They overcome this wicked world. That is the victory that overcomes this world. Even our faith in Yeshua, Amashiach. My friends, the book of First John 3, chapter verse 9. Anyone, anyone, it don't say you have to be black. It don't say you have to be purple. It don't say you have to be of the house of Israel. Anyone, anyone, hello? Anyone mean anyone born of Yahweh refuse to practice sin. Anyone who born of Yahweh refuse to practice sin. If you are born of Yahweh, you cannot keep on practicing sin. You cannot keep on sinning against Abba Yahweh. Because Yahweh seed a by in him, he cannot go on sinning because he has been born of Yahweh. Who win. If you are, say, you are born again and you are living in sin, those Christian people, the meaning of born again is repentance. Repent, for the kingdom of Yahweh is near. Repent from your wicked ways. Most people all over the world say, oh, I'm born again Christians. They take pride when they say, oh, I'm born again. I've been saved for 30 years. 
Where is in this street you say when you born again you save? Show me. Do the scriptures say you must endure until the end? Do the scriptures say you must cross the finish line? I cannot say I'm safe. I cannot say that. I cannot boast. If I have to be boast, I'm not going to propose and myself. I will boast and proclaim the name of Yahushua to you. Why do I have to boast myself I'm safe for? That's bragging. That's boasting. Those Christian people are trying to impress people I save. How do you know you save? Are you finished your missions? Are you cross the finish line? Are you under the tribulation and the good tribulation to come? Are you overcome this wicked world? How do you know you are saved? I'm born again Christians. Yeshua was not a Christian. Nicodemus was not a Christian. Paul was not a Christian. Matthew was not a Christian. John was not a Christian. There is no one of the disciples a Christian. So people take the born again, they twist it in order to make a merchandise. Oh, when you're born again, you're trying to save. That's a bunch of lies. Born again means you must be repent from your wicked ways. Make it your turn. Return to our back. Perhaps, perhaps it's not guaranteed. Perhaps I bear with me of mercy and compassion over you. For Yahweh say, I will have a mercy to whom I choose to have a mercy. And I will have a compassion to whom I choose to have a compassion. No one is saved. Yes, hallelujah. No one is saved until you endure until the end. You must to overcome this wicked world. It's not by changing of your name. It's not by changing army born again Christians and baptized without repentance. You are wasting of your time. That's why they become worse. And when before they baptize, they was little good. But after they finish baptized, they put more curse, more abominations into themselves because they're doing something opposite. If you baptize, you don't repent. You are wasting of your time because he asking in order to see the kingdom of Yahweh. You cannot see and you're going to enter. How can you do not see and you're going to be entered? You must see first where are you going. Then you will enter. But if you cannot see where are you going, how can you can enter? So that means repentance is the key to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. If you do not repent from your wicked ways, you cannot be baptized. The book of 1 John 4, chapter verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another, because love comes from Yahweh. Everyone who loves has been born of Yahweh and knows Yahweh. You don't say baptize. It's say born. Born of Yahweh and baptized of Yahweh is two different things. To be born again is to repent from your wicked ways. You can see the kingdom of Yahweh. Now, if you see the kingdom of Yahweh, you baptize in order to try to enter. That one doesn't mean when you repent and you baptize is guaranteed. You must be untold until the end. You must overcome this wicked world. It's not easy. Just like the, the pastor telling you. When you save, you save. That's not true. I cannot say that. Look at what happened to the children of Israel. Abaya was two of the five millions. How many of them who enter into the promised land? Only two. Hello. You save when you know you endure until then. When you cross the finish line. That is a time when you end until the end. When you overcome this wicked world, this is a time you know for sure when you have a faith and you see Yeshua and your faith, you see, I now I make it. But until that, do not boast in yourself. My friends, dear friends, let us continue to love one another. For love comes from Yahweh. Anyone who love has been born of Yahweh and knows Yahweh. You don't see anyone who baptize, but say born, repent from what you're doing. Love one another. Instead of to hate is wrong, but love is right. 
if Yahshua is righteous, so anyone who born with Yahshua has to do what is right. You cannot tell me you born again when you are still living in sin. You could see every boyfriend you still living in adultery. Or can you can be born again when you keep on living, you keep on sinning against Yahweh? Born again in repentance. Do the right thing. For the ways of sin is dead. But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life. The book of First John 5, chapter verse 4. Because everyone born of Yahweh overcome the world. And this is the victory that was overcome the world by our faith in Messiah Yeshua. Because everyone, 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 not some, everyone, no matter who you are, where you come from, what is your color, what is your nationality, repentance and baptize under until the end yes hallelujah yes those men you must overcome this wicked world it is a must because everyone not black Hebrew Israel but the scripture say everyone what everyone mean it say you have to be black you have to be yellow you get to be purple you have to be Christians you have to be Catholic? No, you can be anything, even Satan. If Satan is overcome, is repent from your his wicked ways, I bet we're gonna let you behind. Just so if you want a victory, you must be overcome this wicked world. What the world offer you? The desire of the flesh. That's why blood and flesh cannot please Yahweh. My beloved, the book of First John 5, chapter verse 5, still dead. Who then overcome the world? Only he who believed that Yahshua is the son of Yahweh. There is only one way, my beloved, in order for you to overcome this wicked world. It's only... He will believe that Yahushua Amasiak is Bene Yahweh. If you do not believe Yahushua, not J U S U S, not L O R D, but if you believe Yahshua, the only name give above, the only name we can receive salvation, Immanuel El Shaddaim. There is only one way you can receive salvation. It's only through Yahshua. All those who are talking about TMH, Yawasha, Yawashi, Yawa, Yaa, Babada, Abuda, Buddha, Ara, whatever they call the US, US, Hashem, Adonai, you are wasting of your time. You are wasting of your time. Let's say, so I say anyone who Confess me before men or deny me before men. I will deny them also before my Father who are in paradise, not on this earth. My friends, the book of First John 5, chapter verse 18 still there. We know that everyone born of Yahweh does not keep on sinning. If you are with pigs, you born of Yahweh, you cannot keep on sinning. It is impossible. After Abraham will rescue you from the darkness and for you to get back to the darkness, it's just like when a dog finished eating, they just vomited the food and go back eating its own vomit. So there is nothing left for you to receive any kind of forgiveness of your sin. The forgiveness of sin is only one, it's not twice. Remember, go and sin no more. Forgiveness is only one time. In the time of ignorance, forgiveness is not all time, it's only once. When you do not know, when you are ignorant, a buyer would overlook at it, now command it, command every man everywhere to repent from their wicked ways. There is ignorance and arrogance. Now, if anything happened to you, do not repent. Guess what? You're going straight to hell. Because you know the truth, but you refuse to observe it. My friends, 
We know that everyone having been born of Yahweh does not continue to sin. It is impossible for you to burn off our by Yahweh for you to keep on sinning against your creator. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Those people who say, I am born again, who live in adultery, who live in everything, it is impossible. You cannot burn off Yahweh. You cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh to keep on living in sin. It is impossible. No, 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 no. It's not so. To keep living in adultery, to keep on living in polygamy and polygamy? No, no. Mm -mm. Yahweh is not the author of confusions. My friends, Yahweh protect him and the evil one does not touch him. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. My friends, listen. We know that everyone born of Yahweh does not keep on sinning. The one who does born of Yahweh, protect him, and the evil one cannot touch him. Hallelujah. We. Evil cannot touch you. Evil no power over you when you are repent and Yahweh make you see his kingdom. Satan has no power over you. But until you are living in sin, that means you are living with Satan. You are living for Satan and you are serving Satan and you are obey Satan. But if you are obey Yahweh, the Almighty Creator, Yahweh, open up your eyes and you say, You cannot live in and sin. You cannot live it in adultery. You cannot live in and polygamy. You cannot eat in pig. You cannot eat in whatever you want to do. You're going to obey our by Yahweh commandments. My friends, we know that everyone having been born of Yahweh does not continue to live in sin. But the one having born begotten of Yahweh protect him and the evil one does not cannot touch him Satan cannot touch him. King David say Yahweh is with me even I walk in the shadow of the father of death I will feel no evil because Yahweh is with me hallelujah how many of you tonight who can say Yahweh is with me even I walk on the shadow of the father of death, I will feel no evil because Yahweh is with me. Yahweh said, do not fear. Do not be afraid. Those who can kill the body but cannot kill the soul. My beloved, the time is now. The book of Luke, 13, chapter verse 1. About this time, Messiah Shua was informed that Pilate has murdering some people from Galilee as they were offering sacrifices in the temple. Verse 2. Messiah Shua said, Do you think those Galileans were worse sinners than all the other people from Galilee? Messiah Shua asking, Is that why they occupied them? Is why they suffered? Messiah Shua asking the crown, do you think those Galileans were worse sinners than all the other people from Galilee? Messiah Shua asking, is that why they are suffering? Verse 3, no, I tell you no, but unless you repent from your wicked ways, hello, the key word is repentance. The key word is not God love you the way you are. The good news is, is time now for repentance. Those who are living in the United States of America, those who are living in those who are living in adultery, those who are living in lies and, and deception are by our way asking you tonight. It's a night for repentance. Repent! Otherwise, you all will be perished. Messiah on and you will perish too unless you repent of your sin and turn to our by Yahweh. If you not turn to our by Yahweh, those who are living in the United States of America, those who are living in the face of the earth, those NTBN, those big televised pastors, those big edit pastors, the time is now. If you not repent, your all, your all, not some of you, but all of you will be perished. 
just like it was on the time of Saddam and Gomorrah, just like it was on the time of Moshe, just like it was on the time of Lot, it's going to be the same way for you. My friend, verse 4, and what about the 18 people who died when the tower and Siloam fell on them, where they were sinners and Yahushalayim? All those 18 people who died when the tower of Sileons fell on them, do they think they were more guilty than all the others living in Yahweh Shalahim? Verse 5, no, no, I told you. So unless you repent from a wicked deed, you will all likewise perish. How many times say I should say that to you, my friend? That means again it's about repentance from the way you are end up yourself and your turn is permitted that means repent, repentance teshuva teshuva six thousand years humanity has been repelled against abayawi now abayawi say enough is enough the time is now abayawi say vengeance is mine get ready whatever you say if you do not repent whatever you see you see the coronavirus, you see the COVID-19, you see the Kung Fu deception, you don't see the tribulation yet, you don't see the great tribulation yet, you don't see the seventh seal, you don't see the four, the four horses, and you see the seven plagues yet, you don't see nothing yet. Even the beginning of Jacob trouble don't even start yet. So you're playing with fire, you're going to get burned. My friends, I say, so I say no, and I tell you again, that unless you repent from your evil deeds, you will all likewise perish. Hello? Are those people in the United States of America, listen? Those who are living just like Saddam and Gomorrah? Those who promote gay and lesbian, do they listen? Repentance is the key. Those who are Christians, who unify a man, woman with women, and you say born again? What born again mean when you commit abominations? Messiah should say when a man lay down as the other man, as a woman is an abomination. Then you say it's okay for two men and two females to get together. You are promoted, you are embrace them, you salute them, you sleep with them, you do the same thing with them. I bow say it's a time for repentance, or your all will be perish. All of you will be perish. Get ready. Get ready for the consequence. Get ready for the price. You want it? Yahweh will give it to you. Unless you repent. You all will be perish. Born again in repentance. My beloved, the book of Luke 13, chapter 6. The Messiah who are told his parables. A man as a Tree that was planted in his vineyard, he went to look for fruit on it, but he did not find any. Listen carefully, this parable tonight. I want every one of you to listen to it carefully. The book of Luke 13, chapter 6. Then Messiah Shua told his parables, a man as a fig tree that was planted in his vineyard he want to look for fruit on it but he did not find any do you know what the meaning of this do you know what the meaning a man as a fig tree that was planted in his vineyard he went to look for fruit on it but he did not find any. What the meaning of that? That means, at the time of Messiah Yeshua was coming on this earth, there is nobody who was repent. So that means, the tree was there, but there is no fruit. There is no repentance. The Pharisees, they was blind, just like those pastors. Those scribes, they are blind, just like those elders. So there's never be fruit. That's the same thing if Messiah Yeshua come in today. 
and you don't even prepare, you don't even repent. And you all say you are born again without knowing the meaning of born again. You cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh unless you born again. So that means the deal is in order to even see the kingdom of Yahweh, you must be repent from your wicked ways. Without repentance, you're going to be still die in your darkness, in your blackness. But you will never, never can see the kingdom of Yahweh. Then, when you finish see the kingdom of Yahweh, then you can be seen to enter. Enter. Now is the time to be baptized, to receive Yahweh's spirit. But baptized without repentance? Is it just that you put a yoke, you put in your neck? Baptizing is not a joke. You must repent before you baptize. Isaiah 28, chapter verse 10. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Lie upon lie. Lie upon lie. Hear a little and tear a little. If anyone do not talk the same way, something is totally wrong with them. My beloved, my fellow citizens, Ezekiel 18, chapter verse 30. Ezekiel 18, chapter verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, said Yahweh the Almighty Creator, repent and turn yourself from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your destructions. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. You don't say baptizing. It's say repent. Turn from your all transgressions. That is it born again. Born again don't mean you save. Born again do not mean baptizing. Born again means repentance. Repent from the way you are living. From what you eating. From your friends. The way you doing things. You get to change of your way. Not to change of your name. I bear with say the children of Israel according to the book of Jeremiah 4, chapter 14, verse 14. Change your mind of house of Israel. Clean your mind from evil. Clean your mind from evil. That means clean your mind from sin. That you may be saved. You might be saved. It's not guaranteed. You might be too late. Just like on the top of Noah. Don't let it be too late. The book of Jeremiah 4, chapter verse 14. Abel says, Wash your mind from evil, O house of Israel, that you may be saved. Wash your mind from evil means stop sinning. Repentance. Burn again, Israel, that you might be saved. Jeremiah 4, chapter verse 14. My friends, the book of Ezekiel 18, chapter verse 17. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, said Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. You don't say baptize, it's say repent. That's the key word. Repent from your ways. Turn yourself from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your destructions. What can I advise for Abba Yahweh give it to you? You want Abba Yahweh to kiss your feet? What do you want from Yahweh? My friends, therefore I will judge each of you, O people of Israel, according to your ways according to your actions said Yahweh the Almighty Creator repent from your sin don't let them destroy you don't let your sin destroy you don't let your sin destroy you oh people in United States of America the great city of Tari 
the city of Saddam and it's time. It's now the clock is ticking. The judgment, America. Those people who are living in the land of America, do you realize that you are on the judgment? Any one of you who has the eyes to see, look around you what you see. Judgment time. Judgment time. All those leaders are confused. Why? The judgment time. Therefore, O house of Israel, I will judge you each according to his ways, declare Yahweh. Repent and turn from all your transgression. I'm we asking you, not even, but for turn to all from all your transgression. Not all. Remember, sin is the transgression of the law. He said to turn, turn from all your transgressions so that your iniquity will not become your downfall. What is the meaning of iniquity? Iniquity is when you know something and you choose to follow the right way. There is sin, there is transgressions, there is iniquity, and there is abomination. Iniquity is when you know something, you say, I don't care. I don't give it. So whatever. That's arrogance. That's self-arrogance. That's the reason why Abaya we say, on the time of ignorance, is overlook at it. Abaya we do not use, do not serve, do not tolerate anybody to be self-arrogant. That's why Adam do not receive forgiveness. Because he was received a comment from Abaya we, he chose to disobey Abaya we. They start if never receive forgiveness. That's the reason why Abaya we say, I will have a mercy to whom I choose to have a mercy. Uh, we have a compassion to whom I choose. If you are rebelled against Abba Yahweh, you know this is why the wrong thing and you're doing it. Abba will not going to forgive you. Especially when he gives you the comment not to do it and you choose to do it. My friends, you already doomed to death. The book of verse 21 put all your rebellions behind you and find yourself a new mind and a new spirit for why should you die O people of israel my friend i buy our mercy and love and compassion i don't know what you are waiting for i do not know why but all your rebellious put all your but put all mean repentance put all your rebellious behind you and find yourself a new mind or a new heart. Take one. And a new spirit. That's what you get from evil. It's from the flesh. The flesh is the destructions. That's why the scripture says, don't let your iniquity become your downfall. Don't let your sin, don't let your iniquity, don't let your abomination become your downfall. Is it time to change the way you're living? Is it time to change the way you talk? Is it time to change what you're eating? Your friends, the music you are listening, everything is about born again. When you're born of Abba you cannot keep on singing, listen to music, whatever Abba Yahweh say. Do not eat pork, you say it's okay. Do not eat shrimp, you say it's okay. Do not eat meat, you say it's okay. Do not do this, you say it's okay. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. How many of you who love Yahweh? You are a bunch of hypocrites, double face. Lock here with fire. You're going to see. Abba will say, cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed and make yourself a new mind or a new heart. Take one. As a new spirit, why you have to die, O house of Israel? My friends, verse 32. For Abba will say, I take no pleasure in anyone dead. Declare Yahweh. So repent from your wicked deed and live. Abaya will keep on pleading with the children of Israel, but they are refused. And when something happens, people say, oh, why people? Why people do this to me? Why people do this to me? Why people doing to me? They never say, I'm doing this to myself. Do you know why you are enslaving? 
Do you know why you are in bondage? Do you know why you are in captivities? Do you know why you are in Babylon the Great? Do you know why you are in Egypt? Because of your rebellions. Because, this is what he said, put all your rebellions behind you and find yourself a new mind, a new heart, and a new spirit, Israel. For why you should die? Why they should kill you, Israel? Because of you rebel against your creator. Now what happened? You play with fire and then you get born. Now they say, oh, a black, a black man been shot by a white police officer. But they never see when black against black. It's okay. For black against black against war. Look at what happened now in Chicago. Black against black, but nobody say nothing. It's okay for black to kill black, right? And you say black life matter. You are a bunch of fools with what was of hypocrites. All life matter. Because you have no love, no compassion. Because you don't have no Yahweh spirit on you. For Yahweh say, I take no pleasure in the death of anyone. If Yahweh say, he don't take no pleasure in the death of anyone, why today humanity has to take the pleasure of killing people? When Abba always say, you must not kill. That's love, right? Killing is love. So you take what is wrong for right and what is light for darkness. That's why killing is love. For I take no pleasure in the death of anyone. So repent from your wicked deeds and live. My friends, Abaya, we don't create anybody. You see, you don't take no pleasure when people die. But why we have to kill in people? Chicago, there's a lot of gangs. Nobody said nothing. I don't see the media. Why they stream media? Do you say anything? Do you say there is a gang in Chicago? Instead of to manipulate people, brainwashing people to say black against white? The scripture says to love one another. Not to go against one another. Kingdom divided against kingdom cannot be stained. Second Kings 17, chapter verse 13. Yet, to all Yahweh prophets and sirs, Yahweh warned Israel, saying, Turn from your wicked ways and obey my commandments and statutes according to the eighth law that I am command your ancestors and deliver to you to my seven the prophets. How many of you listen? How many of you who obey the word of Yahweh? 14 billion people. Our barely needs 144,000 to be sealed. 6,000 years. It cannot have it. 14 billion, over 14 billion people. Our barely needs only 144,000. It cannot get it. That's all the world is wicked. That's why every single person, there's only one thing they are doing for living evil. No matter the scriptures say in the latter day, men gonna be lover of themselves instead of the lover of Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. We are living on the time right now. Yet, to all Yahweh prophets and sirs, Yahweh warning Israel, saying, Turn from your wicked ways. You don't say you save. Turn mean repent. Turn mean repent. Instead of for the translation to say repent from your wicked ways, they say turn. But turn really mean repent. That's why they twist your word. They give you something in order not for you to understand it. But Yahweh is going to make you understand it in its own ways. Don't, don't worry. Yahweh warned Israel saying, repent from your wicked ways and obey my commandments and statutes according to the entire law that I'm commanded you and your ancestors and deliver to you through my seven the prophets. Not only to one servant, to all the seven the prophets from Genesis to Revelation. How many of you who take shuva? How many of you who repented from their wicked ways? 
the more you multiply is the more you sin against your creator you make satan very busy and you always say oh satan is busy but stop sinning stop by giving satan too much work to do if you stop sinning give satan less work to do if all of you stop sinning and repent those who belong to yahweh satan will not believe that no works because i've always said i choose you out of this world but you still send this world because you have is still governed according to your flesh desire because if you are still living according to your flesh desire that means you're still living for this wicked world so you don't come out yet psalm 51 chapter verse 10 king david said to abba yahweh create in me a clean mind oh yahweh we knew a wise spirit within me that's repentance asking abba yahweh create in me a clean mind or a clean heart how many of you tonight as king david was a king he made mistakes but he learned from his mistakes how many of you today who keep on making the same mistake over and over a wise always learned by his mistakes but a fool, no matter how many mistakes he made, he never learned from it. Because he is a fool. Listen what King David said. We all have our own tongues. We are all sinners. We are all fall short from the steam of our Bayawe. But our Bayawe gives all of us free salvation. Receive it or reset it. It's better I bear with Fawan to arrogance instead of for you to Fawan ignorance. Create in me a clean mind. Wash your mind from evil or out of Israel that you might be saved. King David asking Abayawe, create in me a clean mind. Give me a new mind. The heart you have taught by Satan. The knowledge I get from Satan, what they taught me, what they teach me, what they put in my mind, please create in me a clean mind. Give me a new hard drive, O oh Yahweh, and renew a wise spirit within me. That evil spirit, get it out from me. Give me a clean one. Give me the white one. Give me your spirit, Yahweh. Don't give me that Satan spirit for me to sin against you. The book of Isaiah, first chapter, verse 16. Wash and clean yourself. Remove your evil deeds from my sight. Stop doing evil. That's a repentance. That's born again. That's not be baptizing. That's not be saved. When those pastors say you are saved, you are born again. Born again in repentance. Isaiah, first chapter, verse 16. Wash and clean yourselves. Wash and clean yourself. Remove your evil deeds from my sight. Stop doing evil. Stop doing evil. Stop sinning. The ways of sin is dead. And the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahshua Amashiach. Born again means repentance. Repent from your wicked ways. If you are baptized without repentance, you do nothing. You put more curse in your life. Repentance is a way to see. Because without repentance, you are blind. Without repentance, you are in the darkness. But when you repent from your wicked ways, Abayahweh will let you see the way to enter and to be baptized to enter his kingdom. Learn to do right, seek justice, correct the oppression, defend the fireless, pray for the widows. Learn to do right, stop doing evil. Stop doing what is wrong. Stop living the wrong way. 
Stop living and sin. Taken, born again mean you are saved. No, you do not save. Born again mean you must repent from your wicked ways, the way you live in your life. All those Christian people, they take born again Christian, uh, oh, I am saved. Mm -mm. Born again mean you must be repent from your wicked ways. To see the kingdom of Yahweh, repentance is number one. Without repentance, you cannot see. I can you can enter some place when you are blind. You cannot see where are you going when you are blind. Blind cannot lead another blind. Learn to do right, seek justice, correct the oppression, defend the fatherless, pay the widows. My friends. The book of Psalm 34, chapter verse 14, statement. Repent from evil and do good. Seek peace. Repent. Depart from evil. I mean, repent from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue what is good. Repent from evil. When you live in insane, that's evil. That's not righteous. That's wrong. When you live in an adultery, you live in an polygamy and polygamy, and you live in an filthiness, you defile your temple. I bear we say, do not yoke with unbelievers. He's asking you to come out I and mean, repent from your wicked ways. The book of Isaiah. 31 chapter verse 6. Return to Yahweh against you, him, you ever so greatly revolted against him. Return to Yahweh, I mean repent from what you're doing wrong against your creator, whom the children of Israel have greatly rebelled against. Rebellious is a sin. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Return to Yahweh. From who the children of Israel have greatly rebelled against. O house of Israel. Are you want to live? Or you want to die? I bear you say, it don't take no pleasure on the death of anyone. But you want all the people. All the wicked people to repent from their wicked ways, born again, and live. Why you have to die, O house of Israel? The book of Yeshayahu, the book of Isaiah 50, chapter verse 7, said that. Did the wicked man forsake his own way? At the own righteousness, men his own thoughts. Let him return to Yahweh that Yahweh may have compassion and to our creator for Yahweh will freely pardon. Hello. Let the wicked man forsake his own ways. Let the wicked man forsake his own ways. That repentance, that's born again. And the unrighteousness, man, is untaught repentance again, born again. Let him return to Yahweh, that Yahweh may have compassion, that born again. And to our Creator, for Yahweh will freely pardon. That is a grace, is free. Isaiah 59, chapter verse 20. The Redeemer will come to Zion, to those and Yaakov who turn from transgressions, declare Yahweh. Listen carefully. For those who taken, you're all going to be entered the promised land. Mm -mm. Only few of you. Remember, many are called, but only few. Few. You know what few mean? Only few. The book of Yeshayahu, Isaiah 59, chapter verse 20, stated, 
the Redeemer, we come to Zion, to those in Yaakov who turn from transgressions, to declare Yahweh. We say, as I say, they, Redeemer, come from Zion only to those of Israel who teshuva, who repent from their transgressions. If you not repent, you do not born again. There is no redeemer for you. There is no redemption. There's no salvation. There's no forgiveness of your sins. The book of Jeremiah 27, chapter verse 13. Why should you and your people Israel die? I bet we're asking you a question. No matter where you are tonight. The book of Jeremiah 27, chapter verse 13. Why should you and your people of Israel die? By the sword, famine, and plagues. And Yahweh has decreed against any nation that does not serve the king of Babylon. Hello. Listen carefully, my friends. My beloved. You think Yahweh play guys. You play with the wrong person. Abba Yahweh is a very vengeful person. Abba Yahweh doesn't play. Right now, Abba Yahweh is made as hell. And Abba Yahweh is going to take vengeance. And you're going to hear some crimes. There's going to be blood. There's going to be blood all over the United States of America and all over the world. You're going to hear a lot of blood, a lot of crimes. Because Yahweh is after vengeance. Especially those who are living in the United States of America. If the city of Saddam and Gomorrah was received the preaching, the time our buyer will give to those who are living in the United States of America, the city of Saddam and Gomorrah will still stand today. My friends, we're going to get a few more texts, but we're going to close in a few weeks. When we take the book of Mark, first chapter, verse 4. This message was John the Baptist was in the wilderness and proclaimed that people should be baptized to show that they had repent from the sin and turn to Yahweh to be forgiveness. Hello, my friends. The book of Mark, first chapter, verse 4. This messenger, John, the baptized. John was in the wilderness and proclaimed that people should be baptized to show that they are repented of the sin and turn to Yahweh to be forgiven. Without born again, John was preached a gospel or good news of repentance. Not to save, repentance. Just was baptized the people on the Jordan River is the baptized of repentance, not a baptized of save, not a baptized to receive the spirit, but a baptizing to repent, make a way for Yeshua. Repentance. John appeared baptizing in the wilderness and proclaimed a baptism of repentance. For the forgiveness of sin. Verse 5. People went out to him. From out of Yahushalayim. From the countryside of Judea. Confessing the sins. They were baptized by him. in the Jordan rivers. They are not saved. But they was baptizing, they would confess the sins. And baptized by John the Baptist for repentance of the sins. Matthew 3, chapter verse 11. I baptize you with the water for repentance. Hello? That's John the Baptist. Hello? Matthew 3, chapter verse 11. I baptize you with the water for repentance, but after me we come one more powerful than I. 
or sandal I cannot what did to carry he will baptize you with a subtle pot Yahweh's spirit and fire don't say I will baptize you the baptize of water I baptize you is a battle of repentance but the one who coming I'm not worthy to even carry his shoes is the one who will baptize you with Yahweh's spirit and fire hello John was baptized, born again, repentance, not to get saved. Repentance don't mean you get saved. Repentance is a key in order to see the kingdom of Yahweh. You can be baptized in order to continue the journey. My friends, the book of Luke, first chapter verse 76, stated that. And your child will be called the prophet of Yahweh, the almighty creator. For you will go before Yahweh to prepare his way. Before Yahshua coming, there is always be somebody when they proclaim about repentance, make a way for him. Always, God send his messenger in order to prepare a way for him. Because he's not going to come in on the filthy world the way it is right now. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. -uh. No, no, he is a king. He will not come in to teach. He coming now to make a war, to conquer as a king, to rule. And you shall will be called the prophet of Yahweh, the almighty creator. For you will go before Yahweh to prepare his ways. Verse 77. To give his people understanding salvation through forgiveness of the sins alone are we there the book of luke first chapter verse 77 to give his people the understanding salvation through forgiveness of the sin to give his people the understanding of salvation who is the understand salvation yeshua amashiach true forgiveness of sin john my friends yeshua is the only way to forgive the children of israel sin when we took the book of matthew first chapter verse 21 it's the virgin will give birth to a child a son will be born and you should call his name Yahushua, for it should be save his people from the sin. Can anybody quote for me, please? The book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21. The book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21. The book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21, please. The book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21. The book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21. The book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21. Somebody please, quote for me the book of Matthew. To see the scripture cannot be lie. It's going to be word after word, precept upon precept, lie upon lie, and little here and little there. The spirit of Yahweh cannot be contradict his own self. The book of Matthew, first chapter verse 21, is to compare to the book of Luke, first chapter verse 77. The book of Matthew, first chapter verse 21. For all those who waste their time talking about Yahweh, Yahweh, Adonai, Hashem, you're wasting of your time. Buddha, Allah, you're all wasting of your time. The book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21, please. I can see all long, all night long. I will not going to die. The book of Matthew, the book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21, please. I'm reading. The book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21. Come on, you get it? Yes, you get it. Mm -hmm. That's the one, yeah. The book of Matthew, 
First chapter, verse 21. Thank you. Muchas gracias. To the Rabbi Yahweh. She will give birth to a son. And you are to give the name of Yahushua. Because he will save his people from the sin. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. This is a witness right there. Everyone who are worship Yahweh, 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 Buddha, Allah, Hashem, Adonai, you are wasting of your time. This is what there. This is the evidence right there. This is a witness against you tonight. The book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21. She will give birth to a son. And you are to give his the name, the name of Yahushua, mean Yahweh's salvation, because he will save his people from what? From the sin. Do you think Yahusha TMH can save you from your sin? Hello? Do you think Buddha can save you from the from your sin? Do you think Adonai can save you from the sin? Do you know Hashem can save you from your sin? No. Yahushua means Yahweh's salvation. He will save his people. If you are the children of Israel, you are Yahweh people, that's only one person who can save you from your sin. It's only Yahushua and Mashiach. Without that, you are wasting of your time. My friends, that's the same thing the book of Luke, first chapter verse 77, it said that to give his people the understanding of salvation through forgiveness of the sin. Yeshua Amasiak. Yeshua is the only way. The book of Acts 2, chapter verse 38. Then Peter said, Who oh, then repent every one of you from the sin? Repent every one of you from your sin. Repent, born again. In order to see the kingdom of Yahweh, it is a must to be born again. You cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh without repentance. Repentance is a key for the blackness for Abayahwe to let you see his kingdom. Without you repent from your wicked ways, you cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. You can change of your name. You can't go to all the feasts you want to. You are wasting of your time. Stop wasting time, my friend. The clock is ticking. The judgment is at and already. America is under judgment. America is no longer a nation who blessed by Yahweh. America never blessed by Yahweh anyway. It's one nation under God, one nation under Satan. The book of Luke 7, chapter verse 47. Wherefore I say unto this, a sin which are many are forgiven. For the love, for the love more, and to whom Lilo is forgiven, that same love, Lilo. My friends, the book of Acts 3, chapter verse 19, repent you therefore that your sin may be blot out. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yeshua Amashiach. Hallelujah. Repent, burn again, you therefore, that your sin may be blot out. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahushua. Matthew 16, chapter verse 4. A wicked and adulterous generation look for a sign. But none will be given except the sign of Jonah. Messiah Shua then left them and went away. Only a evil and adulterous generations. You demanded a miraculous sign, but the only sign will be given to you is only the sign of Jonah. Then Messiah Shua left, then went away. What is the sign of prophet Jonah? Messiah Shua said that in the book of Matthew, 12 chapter verse 41. The men of Nineveh will stand up and the just men will judge these generations and condemn it. 
for the people of Nineveh repent at the preaching of prophet Jonah. And now something is greater than Jonah is here. The people in, at Nineveh was repent. The people at Nineveh was repent. There is no sign will be given to you. You evil and adulterous generation. These generations, these people of Saddam and Gomorrah will stand and condemn these generations. Because they do worse than the time of Saddam and Gomorrah. My friends, the men of Nineveh will stand off in the judgment with these generations and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And now something is greater than Jonah is here. How many of you in the United States of America will repent from your wicked ways because of your elders, because of your pastors, because of your ministers, because of your spirituality, you listen to them by saying, God love you the way you are. Yahweh hates sinners. Yahweh don't listen to sinners prayer. When you take the book of Proverbs, 28 chapter verse 9 stated that, Anyone who turn his ears from even the commitment of our Bayawi, even his prayer is an abomination. Anyone who even turn his ears from even the commitment of Yahweh, even his prayer is an abomination. That means your pastor cannot pray for you, your elders cannot pray for you, your spiritual leaders cannot pray for you, your minister cannot pray for you, your rabbis cannot pray for you, because no one obeyed the commitment of Abba Yahweh. So their prayer are nothing but abomination. That is the same thing when two men and two women sleep together. There's no differences. My friends, on the book of Jonah 3, chapter verse 5, so the people of Nineveh believe Yahweh, and proclaim a feast, a fast, and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. How many people in the United States of America will descend the cry, repentance, repent of you people in the United States of America and everywhere in the world. Those NTBN, those big televised pastors, those big elite pastors, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, how many of you? Who repent from your wicked ways you all want to go to heaven there is no such heavens on the hebrew language hell is heaven just like hell you're all going to hell but none of you going to paradise only few of you my friends the book of jonah 3 chapter verse 5 so the people of nineveh believe yahweh and proclaim a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them, or even to the least of them. Verse 4. On the first day of his work, of Jonah's work, Jonah sat on into the city and proclaimed, Forty more days, and Nineveh will be destroyed. America, I buy away don't say how many more days, but the judgment has already upon you. Yahweh will be destroy you. And China will be number one. On the first day of Jonah's walk, Jonah set out into the city and proclaimed, 40 more days, 40 more days, and Nineveh will be destroyed. America, I do not know many more days, but you are on the way for destruction. America, the big city, the Babylon day with its falling. My friend, verse 5, and the Ninevites believe Yahweh, they proclaim a fast. And declare and sacred for the greatest and the least of them. About you, those who are living in the United States of America. Do you want to believe in Yahweh? You want to be safe? Or you want Yahweh to destroy you? The choice is yours. It's very hard to beat a dead horses. I can only leave the horses. To the world but i cannot force the horses to join the water the book of matthew 11 chapter verse 32 the men of nineveh will stand 
at the judgment with these generations and condemn it. For the repent at the preaching of Jonah, and now there is one greater than Jonah. The book of Mark, first chapter, verse 15. And saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. Repent from your wicked ways. And believe on the good news. My friends. And saying the time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. Repent from your wicked ways. America. Those who are living in the United States of America. The kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. Repent from your wicked deeds. And believe on the good news. What is the good news? Repentance. The good news is repentance. The good news of the kingdom of Yahweh must be preached all over the world as a witness. Then, then the end shall come. My friends, born again is about repentance. The part two would be because there is so many verses talking about repentance. So I don't want to keep you for five, six hours. So most people have been misinterpreted, born again and baptizing. Most Christians will say, oh, I'm born again Christian. But Messiah so I was not a Christian. John the Baptist was not a Christian. The scriptures say about born again, you must be repent, you must be born of Yahweh. That's why Messiah so tell Nicodemus in order to even see the kingdom of Yahweh it is a must for you to be born again. As a teacher of the children of Israel, the teacher of the Lord, he may say, Ashua, how can an old man like me, you tell me I have to be born again? That means I have to get back to my mother, a woman like me, to be born again? He say, Ashua, say, no. Whoever born in flesh is flesh. But whoever born of Yahweh's spirit is Yahweh's spirit. You must born with water and Yahweh's spirit. That's baptized. But born again means you must be repent from your wicked ways. To make a way for your darkness to disappear. Without born again, you are wasting of your time. So the children of Israel had been misled for over 2,000 years ago. 2,000, 2,000 years. For those pastors, those ministers, they do not know the truth. That's why Messiah so I say, an adult church is a vapor generation as coming for a sign. None will be given to you except the sign of Jonah. He said the only sign you can receive is repentance. Just like the people at Nineveh was repent at prophet Jonah proclaimed 40 days this city will be destroyed. America, are you listening? All those people who are living in the United States of America, Born again means repentance. You need to repent. People everywhere in the world, especially those in TBN, TDJ, T4 dollars, I know you're all going to hell anyway, because unless you repent, you're already there. Because the narrow gate is very, very hard and difficult. There is no lifestyles, there is no $65 million airplane. There is no 10, 20 million dollars house masons. There is no Bentley. There is no Rolls Royce. There is no Rolex there. So I don't think you want to go to the narrow gates. You are going to the wide gates. It is the way to add to the destructions. Many of you will follow it. I will thank you because you said to the people, repentance from your sin and turn back to Abba Yahweh so that your sin may be whipped away. With our tune out, when you take the book of 1 Timothy 2, chapter verse 4, who desire all men to be saved and to come to the understandings of the truth. Abaya will never create the earth to be empty. Abaya will create the earth in order for everybody to come to the knowledge, to be saved, to the knowledge of the truth. I mean, to the understanding of the truth. The understanding of the truth. Understanding is Yahshua. The truth is Yahshua. Remember, the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom and understanding. 
But those who don't fear, we do receive knowledge from Satan. My friend, Yahweh is not slow to fulfill his promise. As some understand his slowness, but his patience with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Seek Yahweh why he may be found. Call on Yahweh why Yahweh is near. Let the wicked man forsake his own way, and the unrighteousness man is untaught. Let him return to Yahweh, that Yahweh may have compassion upon him, and to our Creator, for Yahweh will freely pardon those who ask him for forgiveness. God proclaimed this message toward the north. Return of faithless Israel, declare Yahweh. I will no longer look on you with anger, for I am merciful, declare Yahweh. I will not be angry forever. Return, O faithless children, and I will heal your faithlessness. Here we are, we come to you, for you are Yahweh, our Creator. Abba Yahweh, thank you. To teach your people the meaning of repentance. Born again is about repentance. It's not about you save. It's not about baptizing. Billions of people across the world thinking born again when you are saved. Because they say I'm born again Christians. But no verses on the scripture talking about born again Christians. It's as I was talking to Nicodemus, a leader, a Pharisees of the teacher of the law of the children of Israel. That's why Mr. Asher said, are you a leader, a teacher of the children of Israel? He don't say if you are a leader of the Christianity or Christian people. So today they twist the word of Yahweh Yahweh in order to make a merchandise of you. Abba Yahweh, thank you for everything you want to teach your people. Abba Yahweh, thank you for all the viewers. Thank you for all the listeners. Thank you for all the royal families. Thank you for all those who are willing to be obedient to take note and to be obedient, to know the difference between those who come in to feed the soul and those who come in only to grab the fruit. Abba Yahweh, there is billions and billions of people all over the world. They are coming only to grab the fruit, but they are not coming to feed the soul of your people. Abba Yahweh, every mercy, every compassion upon those who have misled to been lied to about born again they say i'm born again for them they think they are saved when born again means you must be repent from your filthiness when born again mean you have to be teshuva born again mean you might be stuck eating pig eating meat there is so many things so when you repent when you born again I bet we open up your eyes. It's going to make you see all the wrong things you've been living with. And you've been taking pleasure in order you can enjoy yourself too. Until I bet we do not want it to repentance, you yourself you will not be repent. You have to ask an Abayawe for that gift, for that privilege. Perhaps Abayawe will be granted it to you. Abayawe, I'm asking you to bless those who bless you. I'm asking you, Abba Yahweh, to honor those who honor you. Abba Yahweh, those who have the problems to understand. And I'm asking you to give them a new spirit. Just like King David was asking you, create in him a new mind. And renew in him a new spirit. Abba Yahweh, those who really want to be obedient. Those who are willing, not those who want, but those who are willing to be follow your footsteps. Or your footstep of your son. I'm asking you, Abba Yahweh, to give them a new hard drive, a new spirit. Abba Yahweh, don't let your anger burn for the rest of your life. Every mercy, every compassion toward your people, Israel. For those who have been misled and mistaken, the word born again really means repentance and other they tend to be saved. 
when you say the one who endure until the end the other one who will save because you and yours on the stake over two thousand years ago you say father father i'm finished all the works you has been given to me to do. now in your hand i'm a choice my spirit but today people say i get 50 years 30 years 20 years 10 years five years since i've been born again christians i'm saved for 40 years they do not know i bear with those who do not know those who've been misled or lied to i'm asking you for forgiveness for them as you would say 2000 years ago father father forgive them because they do not know what they are doing just like you see in the book of acts 17 chapter verse 30 in the time of ignorance our bio we overlook at it now when now command it command it every man everywhere in the world to repent from their wicked ways you don't say to baptize but it's to repent from your wicked ways born again we are by our way every mercy upon you i bear way to all those who support your ministry especially those who working for your ministry those are by our way who help in your ministry those are by our way who even invite a friend or a family member turn theirs to watching your words and those of our way who donated in your ministry they know your ministry how to survive them. they know there is like the bills to pay most people say i don't pay facebook yes i don't pay facebook but there's a lot of advertising there's a lot of dedication there's a lot of people working for the ministries those people don't even have a salary but those who work in and pay for dollars and teach it they have a salary because we donated our by our way what is given to us not to enjoy ourselves not to have it lifestyle I buy with us them who have the gift to give into your ministry i'm asking you whatever they give i'm asking you to give them hundredfold and what they give to your ministry what they contribute for your ministry what they support for your ministry i buy our way if it is by your will please let your will be done on earth as it is right now in paradise i buy our way I don't pray you as your servant i'm asking you you see whoever acts will be received whoever not the door should be open whoever seeks will be fine i'm asking in the behalf of your people those who are very generous to your ministry in the name of yahweh yahushua ministries may i bless you and keep you may i keep his face shy upon you be gracious to you May Abba will leave its continent upon you and give you shalom. Beshem Yahshua, Amasiak. Beshem Yahshua, Amasiak, say shalom. Beshem Yahshua, Amasiak, say shalom. In the name of Yahshua, Amasiak, the only way for the children of Israel to receive forgiveness, Yahushua, Amasiak. Yahshua, Amasiak. Yahweh's salvation, the only way for the children of Israel to receive eternal life. John 3 18 stated that whoever believes in Yahshua Amashiach will not gonna be condemned. But whoever not believe in the name of the begotten son of Yahweh, Yahushua Amashiach, will already condemn. My beloved. I love all of you. I am Messenger Daniel. Until next time, to Shalom Alehem. Peace. Peace. Being today. May our by Yahweh blessing be with all of you. To the Rabbi Yahweh and La Light of to all of you. I see you next time. May I be away.
ain't nothing. Nah, I'm not. <laughs> I don't feel like he's out there right now, you know what I'm saying? I don't want it. you and I see you. May I buy will be with you. I'll see you next time. I love all of you. Have a good night. There is beauty.